Hello, I'm Michael Diamond. You're watching Muscle Central. Okay, we'll talk a little bit more about Nick Walker. After all, he's been pretty much the big buzz since his very, very impressive win at the New York Pro, which, once again, was held in Florida. Okay, uh, I'm also going to go into some things that we normally don't talk about when we talk about Nick Walker. Let's go over the, the usual stuff. Turns pro uh, last year, earns his pro card by winning the Nationals, jumps to his first pro show with a, with a, a, with a good lineup, and he places fourth, which is a not bad, not bad start for your pro career, and followed that up with his second pro show, which was a win at the New York Pro. And when you see what he looked like in his first pro show and the transformation he made in about seven months till the time he stepped on stage at the New York Pro was really amazing. He made some drastic changes and he was very impressive. He was very dominant in New York Pro. Uh, we talked about it before. He's young, 26 years old, so there's still a lot of room for improvement. You can already label him a mass monster. I believe he's 5'7", 250, 253 pounds on stage, is not small, and we're going to see him put on more size. He brought terrific conditioning to the New York Pro, and it can be better, and we will see better. Uh, at that young age, of, uh, at his young age, he already has a mature look to his muscle, uh, very dense, uh, thick, m dense muscle with a mature look, and uh, he has a bright future, barring something unexpected happening. Now, beyond his physical attributes, and I talked about it before, the mind is uh, plays a major part in a person's success, uh, not just bodybuilding, anything they do. The, the mindset uh, quite often can make the difference between winning and losing, a champion or the runner-up. And he has, he's, I believe he has a very strong mindset, very strong-willed and determined. Uh, he doesn't, he's confident, but he doesn't come across as arrogant. Uh, I remember when he was asked the question, not that long ago, whether he thinks he can beat Rami. And I believe it was Fuad Abiyad who asked him it was on the on their Bro Chat YouTube show. He asked him point blank, do you think you could beat Rami? And Nick looked at him with kind of a, almost, you can say, dumbfounded look, and like, yeah, it's like, why are you even asking me this? It was like, he had the confidence that he can step on stage and he can beat Rami, and he didn't come across as being arrogant when he said it just very confident in himself and he's never 
boasted about, I'm going to go out there and I'm gonna be, I can be this guy, I can be that guy. He was asked a question, and matter-of-factly, he answered yes, and showed that he has confidence in himself. He's, doesn't, he's not one that, oh, I'm going into the show, and I'm hoping to the place in the top this or the top that. I'm going, he's going into the show to, to win. Uh, beyond that is, uh, things that have ha occurred, have happened with him in his life at a young age that a lot of times would break somebody. Now, the only reason why I'm talking about this now is because I know about it because he's talked openly about it. Now, there are things that, something that, like I said, a lot of times can break a person mentally and emotionally and really scar them for life. And it's very visible to people around them, the damage that is, was done. Now, he's talked about it. As a child, he was molested. Now, I can't even imagine what goes through a person's mind when something like that happens. But, like I said, we've seen, seen it happen with it just... It breaks a person and it ruins them for life. Well, that's another. It's another as, asset that he has because he took something that is very bad, very a terrible thing, a horrible thing, very traumatic thing that has happened to him, and instead of it breaking him. He's taken that and he's used it to make himself stronger. Not obviously strong physically, not just, not just because he has muscles. Uh, muscles don't always, big muscles don't always correlate into strength. He has big muscles, but he's also very strong. He works heavy. So it's he's taken that negative and he's turned it into a positive. He's built himself up physically strong and mentally strong. He's overcome what that terrible thing that's happened to him as a child. Now, the person has the mental fortitude to be able to take something like that and turn it around and create something positive. The person has a bright future for anything they try to accomplish. Like I said, many times it's what you have up there in the mind that ultimately decides Winning, losing, uh, uh, champion or runner-up, and obviously being able to overcome something like that shows that he has the mental strength, the mental fortitude to prevail no matter what is thrown his way. And that's going to be a big factor in his success as a pro bodybuilder. He has a lot of physical gifts on his side. And we see quite often person with, phys with all the physical gifts that's needed to excel in this sport, and they just don't. They're missing other components, 
Well, he hasn't. He has the physical gifts that's needed to be a good bodybuilder, and he has the mental strength to drive him to be a champion, to drive him to the top. And like I said before in previous videos, I think this kid has a very, very bright future. He's going to be uh, top in the Olympia lineup, and he, in my opinion, he definitely is a future Mr. Olympia. I think he has all the potential for the physical tools, and he's displayed the mental fortitude, and I think he's going to take it all the way. Okay, you might agree or disagree with what I've said in this video. Either way, please let me know in the comment section. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please share and by all means subscribe. Do not forget to hit that notification bell. This way, every time I put up a new video, you will be notified. Also, if you go to the description, the this description box, you're going to find some links there. One link is to the Muscle Central Facebook page. If you have any questions for me, go there. You can DM me. I'd be happy to answer any questions you might have. Also, you're going to find a link to Species Nutrition, the best nutritional supplements you're going to find on the market. And Mr. Potts Protein, the best protein pack snacks you'll find on the market. Click on both websites. Check them, check them out. Check out all their great products. And once again, this is Michael Diamond. And I'd like to thank you for watching Muscle Central.